The Creative Energy Steam Plant is one of North America's largest district energy systems. The idea is that cities have one big centralized boiler that then carries that heat through a network of pipes, efficiently heating buildings using less energy than if each building had their own boiler. The concept has been around for centuries, dating back to the Romans, and 15 kilometers of pipeline has been heating downtown Vancouver customers since the 60s. This is like right out of, you know, like a 1960s power plant. These are old pneumatic controls. Basically, they've been abandoned, and we've now obviously upgraded to a computer base. This was a state of the art back then. So this is Command Central, basically. Exactly, yes. So the old pneumatic controls, that's only for one, one or two boilers. The other five boilers are basically controlled from, it's called our Delta V system. The six boilers in Vancouver generate steam at high pressure and high temperature. Pipes then carry that to heat radiators, underfloor heating, and domestic hot water. Your hot shower in the morning. This has been incredibly efficient for high density regions like Vancouver for years. Efficient, but not necessarily green. That's the main fuel that comes into the plant. This yellow pipe? Yes, that's all natural gas. That's our main source of fuel. Creative Energy's natural gas-powered boilers are the single largest source of greenhouse gas emissions in Vancouver. That's why there are major plans to convert to a lower carbon fuel, and most importantly, have electric boilers do most of the work. Completely renovating this plant, basically building a brand new plant. We are adding phased manner electric boilers and drawing power from BC Hydro's uh, substation here in Murin substation. First, the old boilers will be replaced with high efficient boilers. This means no heat escapes and is wasted, but it's still a process that relies on fossil fuel. The ultimate goal is to go electric with only the natural gas boilers as backup. And the full rollout will be by 2028, 2029. So when we complete the whole thing, roughly 60 to 70% of the operations will be completely decarbonized. It kind of eliminates about 60 to 70,000 tons of carbon from downtown Vancouver. That would be a massive reduction to the current carbon footprint of the downtown core. Creative Energy currently has this proposal before the BC Utilities Commission and has similar plans for Horseshoe Bay, Toronto and Seattle. Johanna Wagstaff, CBC News, Vancouver.